an outfit that just suits your body shape, get it in all the colours. Okay, and here is the dress of dreams. I can't believe I'm buying something from the one place where nobody can answer your questions unless I ask 10 people before them. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live The dream I knew This Christmas I only want to be close to you Good morning everybody and welcome to another vlog we have had a very rough start to the a.m uh and have been very up uh very a.m in the a.m so i am pretty tired um i've just managed to get my green monster smoothie together or should i call it a creamy i think i'll call it a, cr a creamy greeny smoothie together <laughs> and i'm just in the uh bathroom the family bathroom and i've just sprayed um batiste, some batiste volume <laughs> Sorry, Batiste Brunette in my hair, which I have been absolutely loving because it doesn't leave the right residue as much as the Batiste volume. So that's been helpful. I still have some curls left over. Yes, darling, from the other day. And I'm about to try the L'Oreal L Net hairspray in the uh, Stronghold. Oh, I actually thought I got volume flat hair oh, i think there's a volume flat hair and then there's a basically a strong hold strong hold so i got this one because hey the girl you know doesn't hurt over the extra volume i've managed to pop on a little bit of uh makeup just to freshen up because i have some appointments this morning with apple of all people i know and honestly i'm really dreading it because every time i go in there i f i find that i leave disappointed and i come out knowing basically what i knew before i walked in so hopefully this experience is a lot better today because i'm in the market to upgrade and not my phone people we are upgrading our equipment we are moving the vlogs forward i know it's happening and this is all to commemorate my recent 50 subscriber milestone i know it's a small milestone but yeah you gotta start you gotta celebrate the small stuff you know why not indeed after all this lockdown why not celebrate the small things so i'm going to give this hairspray a try and let you know what i think i am impressed this is quite a firm hold and yet gentle and look it is just given in fact it's given my curls more curl <laughs> if that's even possible anyhow i'm going to actually go through a few things before i hop out the door i've got to do some kinder drop-offs before my appointment and I want to take you through my outfit and some of the new pieces that have come into my wardrobe. And today is actually, lo and behold, sunny. I will actually show you the weather before I pop out. Um, so I'm actually wearing something that is spring appropriate. Can you believe it? Okay, people. Right. So in the event that we actually have a little bit of spring in spring, I have popped on a new little cord that I have received from none other than, you guessed it, cotton on because as you know it is a new and growing obsession of mine so <laughs> let me take you through my outfit of the day i have got just a very old piece from i think it's kukai i believe to some costume jewelry costume jewelry earrings very plain uh chain bracelet and keeping it really min minimal oh and um my new ring by soko and i really do love their jewelry they 
uh, stock exclusively at The Iconic and they just do some really nice uh, wearable pieces that are really good quality and I'm all about the longevity because I've got my hands in everything and anything all the time. So <laughs> anyhow, this set I believe is called Riviera. Let me just check the package. Hold on. I've literally just taken it out of the box. Um, is it Riviera? Right, right. So these pieces are called the Riviera. Yes, darling, I know. Got a little little person over there. Don't mind him. Um, and I got the matching crop top as well. And this comes in a range of colors. And I believe we can compare this to the very expensive set that I uh, purchased from Peony and then returned, uh, as I wanted like a summer cold that was like rather modest, uh, yet breathable. And I think I have found it. And Cotton On, you answered all my prayers. This is exactly the set I was looking for. I wanted something really wide leg, really comfortable and breathable for summer, but yet also so rather modest. On my feet, I have popped on the very convenient, uh, what do they call them? Cabin molded slides uh, by Cotton On, which are the Easy Dupes. And I'm actually living in these right now. And also, fun times, I got the chance to paint my little tootsies, which was absolutely necessary. It was getting a bit out of control and also has made me feel that much cleaner and better and put together. So, Without further ado, I've got to get going. I will report back and while I'm waiting for set appointment, why not check out the shops and look at this gorgeous Christmas themed stationery from KKK. I mean, how precious. Very, very cute. I really, really like this one. Nobody can answer your questions unless I ask 10 people before them. But I'm here for my appointment with Apple, who actually don't have my Mac, but can help me through the process. Don't you love it? I just love Apple. Hey guys, I am back. And that was a lot longer in Apple than I intended to spend. However, it was my first positive experience at Apple. I have always left there feeling absolutely annoyed, angry. <laughs> upset if you will um just because the journal system goes you have to go through again 10 different people to find somebody who can help you and then they send you away because they don't have the answers either but today i actually found a gem i found the gem in the answer of mr kevin and he uh was so so helpful in giving me the advice that i needed in purchasing my macbook um i again i want to up my vlogging game and uh, take it a step further and i want to improve the quality for you guys um and also i need a place to work on my website i just need a space to work on my stuff basically um and not just in the vlogging arena but other areas of my life and uh, he was really helpful in helping me decide which one to get we'd already had something in mind which I was going to purchase online and then hesitated and I'm so glad I did now currently we are in the Black Friday sale arena I did not make a preemptive video um, because I think you all know what you're looking for on Black Friday perhaps next year I'll, I'll do a little bit of reconnaissance for you um, and I actually went into Apple because I knew they were giving out vouchers with purchases apparently not on everything only on old stock so if you are looking at Apple and looking for a bit of a bargain only if you purchase old stock people which people don't generally go for some people do uh but if you're wanting anything recent uh, forget about it there's no there's no deal no deal anywho whilst i am sitting here i might as well take you through the rest of my cotton on order because it's just sitting there on its lonesome and it needs a bit of love and in fact i want to explore the rest of the box i literally just pulled this out <laughs> and didn't even look at the rest so let's get to it let's take a sneak so, we have, oh, I remember you. Actually, I have rummaged through this before, but I haven't bought anything yet. So, I think uh, if I can refer to another cotton on haul uh, where I did a huge linen edit. And I popped up, I have put a few more linen pieces in my basket and I fell in love with this particular style of dress. This is um, a linen 
uh, backless dress actually with a cross at the back and I absolutely love this style it's so flattering and what I really did appreciate about it was that in the front you can actually go braless because it is so poofy that nobody would even notice so you can maintain your modesty people in this dress and this is an absolute bargain in fact this would be on sale right now at Cotton On and even if you don't pick up the Black Friday sale, they do 30% online very regularly. So if you're in store, don't buy in store. Always check online and I can guarantee you they'll have some kind of sale going. It's always online. I don't know why they don't do it in store. Anyhow, what else have I got here? Okay, so another black item. I really have gone for neutrals in this haul. Um, so I got, oh, pardon the beeping and the traffic. Um, I've picked up this, what they call a shift dress, and it's in a racer um, cut style, so it's sleeveless, and another mini dress in linen. And this uh, also uh, is another find that I purchased in a natural linen color, but decided to get the black just as a really easy throw on for those hot days that is nice and breathable, yet still classy and elegant. And you can always dress up with accessories, which is the beauty of neutral outfits. You can go to town on all your bling bling. Now, what else did I get here? Mm. Some footwear. So we have here, ah, yes, some more slides. And this is by a brand called Ruby. I'm not sure if you can see that there. And I think this is the brand that they do all their shoes in a cotton on. Really good quality for the price, guys. Their footwear is quite inexpensive, um, but absolutely fantastic. Uh, really good quality synthetic leather, but still really high quality for what it is and a really nice price point. And again, this would come around season to season. So if you wore them to the ground, I'm sure they will come back again. Now, I also got... Oh, yes. Now, this is the black version of the dress that has the cross hatch design at the back uh, which again fantastic design dress and one of the golden rules if you find a style of uh, outfit that just suits your body shape get it in all the colors guys because they will come in handy because at the end of the day patterns come and go but the cut and the fit is something that is you know priceless basically so if you find a design that suits your body and you wear it on the regular, change up the colours, but um, always go for the design and the fit. Now, what is in here? Aha, this looks like a match to the Riviera set. So what I'm wearing now, which is the top and the trousers, These, this is the skirt to match the top. So I'm going to try these all on for you and give you my review. I'm pretty sure they're all staying because the dresses, I know that they'll fit. Um, and I think there was one more. Aha, uh -huh, there was. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save the other item. It's okay. <laughs> save it for another video. But yeah, that's it. The box is now empty. <laughs> Hey people, now this is the matching Riviera skirt and it is a little bit, actually you know what, if I pull it up it's not as tight around the middle so there we are, if I pull it up it is actually rather comfortable, I've taken it in my regular size but this is such a cute little summer cord which you know I love me a cord and again nice and breathable, gives a lovely flattering silhouette, I love how things come out directly at the waist which is what I go for in clothing, I try not to get anything that's too close to the body so it doesn't suit my broad shoulders but thumbs up from me. Okay, and here is the dress of dreams. The most comfortable, airy thing I know. <laughs> thing you can pop on right now. And I have actually used my new slides as my footwear. And I tell you what, it is like walking on a cloud above your feet as well as below. So I'm super happy with these slides. And again, I got this all 30% off. And uh, if you like, if I was going to style this up even more, you could pop this on with a little straw bag situation. Oh, do we have, do we have, come on straw bag, work for me, come on. There we are, <laughs> a little straw bag. And if you really want to go all out, you could even pop it on with a bit of a belt situation. Let me show you because there is a new belt that I did purchase. You will see it more fully styled in another video, which I will link up above. You will see it in my racing video. However, I think it would go absolutely beautiful with this white linen.
which is this rattan belt from Witchery, which you can actually pick up in the sales. Now, Witchery unfortunately doesn't have a sale so often, so that is a bit of a sticky wicket. However, this is currently in season. I think it'll stay around for summer as well. It's just a rattan uh, white uh, belt with a brown trim, and it also is reversible. So if you wanted to flip it round, you could have it on the tan side as well. But just for the sake of keeping everything nice and fresh, we're going to leave it on the white. This is another way to jazz up your outfits. Pop on a belt, grab a bag. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, and this is the black version perfect with the slides in fact what don't they go with i just i'm obsessed with these guys i can get a second pair i mean is that crazy because <laughs> they actually are starting to wear a little bit but it's only from overuse so i just i'm just living in them right now anywho this also fits exactly the same as intended and what i love about it is you can actually rather than putting it over your head to pull on and ruining your hair and your makeup you can actually pull it on from underneath it is so versatile and this back section here is fully elasticated so lots of room to move in there guys absolutely fabulous and stuff. the final piece of this little cotton on haul is the shift dress which i also picked up in the natural in fact i should have it here and my wardrobe for comparison So I also picked this up in the natural colour, um, just to compare, but I love this style so much. It's so breathable and so flattering. Again, I really love this uh, racer style as it takes the attention away from the broad shoulders um, and again, just a really easy throw on piece, like you don't have to do much. I love this effortless style of dressing, which we can do when the weather is warm. <laughs> so please, we need this warm, warm weather to stay. And this would also be lovely with a nice pair of sunnies if you want to accessorize even further. And this is a pair that I again picked up from Witchery on sale. These are still on sale, Black Friday. Um, I'll pop them on for you. I think you might have seen a sneak peek of them in my previous uh, Melbourne Cup video, which I will link up above. But let me show you. Cat eye sunnies. And I'm not one for the cat eye. I have tried a few pairs on in my lifetime, but these just spoke to me because of the tortoise shell, uh, which I find isn't as harsh on my face. I can't really do the whole black lenses or frames. It's just a bit too harsh with my heavy, eye, heavy set brow and eyebrows. Um, and the gold, and you know, I love me a bit of gold. I'm more, of, I tend towards gold rather than uh, silver, and so this ties in with my wardrobe absolutely seamlessly. And I knew that it would go with everything. And you get a bit of a sneak peek of the eye in there. It's not a quite dark lens, and I believe this style is called. Let me see the tag. This style is uh, Maggie. So it's the Maggie sunglasses by Witchery. If anyone out there is interested. Okay, you can go on the rack because that'll be handy. And in fact, I think I'm going to change out this rack. It's been, oh, you know, see the messy room from here. Let's, let's switch around. All right, that's a nice view. I think I'm going to change out this rack because now that I have these new pieces from Cotton On, I feel like I'm going to reach them a lot more now that the weather's getting nice and humid and sticky. So I might change out a few of these and swap them for my new in pieces. Yes, yeah, so what do you, oh, well, you know what? I might... I might swap them out later because I'm rather hungry. I also want to get outside with the little on because why not, while the weather is nice, let's have a bit of a play in the sunshine. So we will get back to the rail at another time and let's go down and eat because mama is hungry and I think baby's hungry too, yeah. All right, I'll catch you in a bit. sleep after his feed and I am still ravenously hungry so I'm going to attempt to put him down but I feel like this might not end well but I do have to go and do pickups in a minute so <laughs> wish me luck but I am starving success baby is now tucked in his cot but only for a short time because I have 
17 minutes to get out of here and I still need to eat. Now, I found one last piece of broccoli bread, some of my, some of my homemade paleo broccoli bread in the freezer. So I'm going to have this with some avocado and I think some eggs. And I will show you a new technique that I've been using to make my eggs lately. And I've picked up these little silicone uh, egg molds, if you will, um, with these little spikes on the top so you can sort of just lift them off the eggs safely in your pan to make nice little round poached eggs. And I'm going to have that on my broccoli bread and I think I'm going to treat myself to a bit of a coffee. I have been overindulging in the coffee lately because of work uh, and just because I'm just plain out tired. Um, but my mama has invested in a new little gadget which I will show you and it involves some pods and uh, I haven't tried these. These are some Starbucks pods but I'm a huge fan of Starbucks and if I can have it at home, hurrah! Let me show you her new little kit. This mini espresso by... Breville? I didn't know Breville made Nespresso. I thought Nespresso was Nespresso. Is it a Breville version of it? I'm very confused right now. I think I have to Google this and find out some more information for you. But I will get to that after because again, I'm short on time. So let's just get to the coffee part. Some people find this very satisfying. I know I do. When I see videos of coffee being made, I'm just, I'm salivating. I just love coffee. Anyhow, let's try this Starbucks, um, house blend intensity eight i do like new strong coffee so i believe we just pop up the lid here like so and pop this little guy in give it a close and i think this is a, a lunga which is like a larger coffee and a short one i always go longer because why not do extra coffee i'm gonna pop my little reusable cup down there in case you run short on time and let that warm up and away she goes makes a lovely sound doesn't it that crema. Mm. Well, actually, the crema's not that impressive to be honest. Very average crema. Okay, so I've just oiled my rings and popped them in a pan, and I'm just going to crack some eggs in. There for the most part. Sometimes it does seep out but this pan is a little bit curved and season of course with a bit of salt and some ground pepper and then I just add a splash of water. Ooh, a bit more than a splash there. Cover with the lid and let it do its thing. And I've just aero latte my oat milk and I'm going to give this a whirl. live for that for us. Let's check on these eggs and they look pretty much done so I think I'm going to leave it there. Okay my broccoli toaster just popped up let's give this a taste. Mmm mm. that is lovely that is like a coffee shop coffee but for like one tenth of the price. Mmm so it would actually go really nice in an iced latte. In fact, I might try that next time. Anyhow, let's get to the food. All right, so I like to cover my broccoli bread with a little bit of pesto. So we have a bit of leftover pesto from HelloFresh. So I'm gonna put a dollop of that on. And some avocado. And the famous egg. So literally you just get these and off they come. Beautiful, aren't they? They're not quite non-stick, but um, generally comes out in the shape of a circle and that pleases me enough. <laughs> Lunch is served. And 
and I'm going to have to eat like far left because uh, guess what? I have now one minute left to eat because I decided to film my lunch. But we don't get much time to get content in these days. And unfortunately, this is not the kind of packed lunch one can take on the road, but I will try it for you. I mean, look, they've just come out perfectly juicy and runny in the middle. I just love that yolk. Mm. I live for that yolk. And people might say, why don't you just do something quick and on the run? I really do like to take time with my food because I really enjoy food and I love eating. And if I'm going to eat something, I want it to be to be perfect basically I want it to fulfill my cravings I want it to meet my needs nutritionally and I want it to taste good so I always like to take time with my meals in terms of cooking and putting them together and it, yes it does take extra time but it is so well worth it to nourish one's mind body and soul and I do have to run but for any one of you that are curious about the broccoli bread I will make that in a separate video I will dash out the door and I will leave this here. Hopefully I can make it, but it will be okay when I come back. And later, if anyone is going to continue watching this video, I will be making a nice home-cooked meal. None other than the famous minestrone, but not just any minestrone. This is Opal's minestrone, guys. This is next level stuff. And I was actually kind of upset about this minestrone only because at the moment, for some reason, whether it be the wild weather, but uh, fruit and vegetables have gone up heaps. I paid $9.90 a kilo for the zucchini at Coles. And the same for the tomatoes, $9.90 or $8.90. Absolute highway robbery. So I'm really going to have to start getting a veggie patch going if this continues, to be honest. But anywho, this better be the best tasting minestrone out there because it's definitely the most expensive one, let me tell you. You had your snack bar and blueberries. Good job. I think I just flashed the entire neighborhood, my uh, my area. Anyway, we've got to dash off for the next round of pickups. But um, what happened as I left the door to go out, which is why I'm running late, is a lovely bird decided to shit on me. Not just on my leg. Not that that hasn't happened before, by the way. That's with little humans, not just birds. But on my new dress. And I end up wiping it with a tissue. And look what happened. It's always the way. I should play touch load of mine, Nonna would say. It's good luck. <laughs> I didn't mention this morning the monstrosity that was left uh, on our front doorstep this morning. And that was this rug. Now, I will get to this on a separate video. But basically, I ordered some homewares uh, for our upcoming house and uh i had already received the goods uh albeit rather late um and this has arrived now months later a second yeah. rug uh again i'll go through this for the second video but that was a that was a nice surprise i'm not complaining about a about a free rug i mean considering it is a cream white color uh having a one in reserve is actually not a bad idea so thank you kmart i don't know if it's intentional but thank you <laughs> Anyhow, let's get to the minestrone. I will show you my inspiration for this recipe. It is this very well-loved old cookbook from when I was a little opal. Yes, it is the Junior Cook by Family Circle. They used to make a lot of cooking magazines. I have no idea what happened to Family Circle, if anybody remembers this brand of recipe book. And I have been using this for years because the recipes are very basic, easy to follow, um, but they're actually quite good. So I'm really impressed. Really good family favorites in here. And what I do with my recipes, I give them a rating. So then when I go back, I know whether I want to test it out again. Now, if we go to the soup section, where are we? Chicken noodle. Ah, minestrone. And I've given it a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend uh, actually physically writing on your recipe books when you've made an alteration so you remember what to do next time. And I'm actually making double the quantity. Now, I've realized we are out of carrots, which is rather unfortunate, but we have everything else. Um, so it's going to be a very green looking uh, minestrone bowl, but that is okay. That is fine. Um, let's get started on all the chopping and then just throw it in. Excuse the kettle, the ambience of that kettle over there. But um, just thought I'd share a little handy tip. Um, if you're not somebody that goes through a heap of bacon all at once, 
keep some in the freezer. We just store it between some uh, plastic bags or um, I think we call them freezer sheets or something like that. Um, and they'll store really well in there and great for when you need to pull it out and use it for a recipe. Say you only need one or two pieces. Uh, this is a really good uh, solution uh, so you don't you can uh, avoid food wasting. Right, so in here I've got one onion about four to five cloves of garlic and about two to three rashes of bacon. Don't you love the rough measurements here? But uh, you get that going on the bottom first because there's lovely pan burnt ends going. And I'm going to now chop my remaining ingredients, which are my tomatoes, celery, probably about two stalks of those, and oh, maybe let's do three, let's do three, three stalks of celery. And we don't have any carrots, so I'm using some leftover capsicum that we have in the fridge. And then we will add our remaining veg afterwards because it takes less time to cook. Tomatoes, celery, tomatoes, celery, tomatoes. Very important, I almost forgot, uh, the potato, which I think I'm going to use in place of the pasta as well. So I've popped some extra in there. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. I might actually use three, in fact, for making a larger batch. Bay leaf and some stock cubes. I think I will use, let's see. Gee, it only goes one to 250 mil. So I might use five, I might use six, I'll use six cubes. It's quite excessive, I never use that many, but that's what I'm going for, so here we go. Play it safe and just use more for now because I'm worried about using more. I've just never used so many. Alright, and in goes our water. I'm probably going to use 1.5 litres here. Just enough to cover the veg. And then I'm going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes before I add my remaining veg. Alright, in goes our very expensive zucchini and hiding under it is load of green beans and these don't need to cook very long, probably about five minutes and we are also going to add to this two tins of fragioli rossi or uh, kidney beans in other words. Okay, fragioli rossi in there and a big clump of minced parsley again which we always keep in the freezer for these kinds of emergencies when no one wants to pop out to the garden and get some and uh, we just mix this up with a little bit of salt and olive oil and then just put it in some black bags ready to use um, again in these situations to pull out for these kind of recipes. This literally tastes like, Wait, hold on let me get my my palette thoughts together, it's like a veggie patch. It's really fresh, I think it's those really expensive tomatoes that I bought, could be those expensive zucchini as well. Mm. This is the freshest tasting minestrone I have ever made. <laughs> Recipes on the upcoming vlog guys. Can you hear that sound? That is the sound of summer and of the children sleeping <laughs> and some Christmas lights. There you go, some solar powered Christmas lights. Okay, it is nearly 9pm and Ironically, I have not had my dinner yet, I know, but considering I had my lunch near five o'clock, uh, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Anyhow, I'm hungry once again, and I am going to enjoy my big bowl of soup with a huge chunk of grana padano cheese. I even like this better than parmesan, I think. It's slightly more creamy than parmesan. I love both anyway. I'm not a cheese goer, but if I had to pick two cheeses I could eat forever, it'd be this and palms in. Mm. And I am going to have myself an extra generous portion. Mm -mm. Some people might say to me, do you want some minestrone with your cheese? And my answer to those people is yes. Yes, I do. Better move aside this change table. <laughs> Romantic dinner service for one, anybody, with some complimentary shaky cheese. <laughs> and this is very romantic indeed, a romantic supper for one. In fact, it is rather weird. I rarely eat by myself, and 
especially dinner. So this is quite a surreal moment, to be honest. And how am I feeling about it? I'm okay. <laughs> Prepared to take a moment for self-reflection now and again. I'm wearing actually a pair of um, Peter Alexander maternity pyjamas, uh, which still are very, very comfortable and I still use. And I uh, highly recommend, by the way, because they even fit you afterwards because they've got a nice stretchy waistband. But I'm going to enjoy my lovely homemade minestrone with lashings. And I apologise once again, folks. That was the lovely moment when my storage once again reminded me how full it was. And I had to unload some stuff. I have since half demolished my minestrone. And I think I'm going to leave the vlog here. Um, and hence why, with this whole storage situation and limitations of the filming equipment, why I'm moving my filming game up a notch. Um, and I didn't come away with a Mac book today, which is what I was looking at, by the way, for anyone who was curious. But uh, I think we have narrowed it down to a decision and it may be on the cards this week. Very, very exciting. So stay tuned for that guys i'll be giving you my full review and thoughts on the apple macbook if it comes to fruition which hopefully it will this is why we work hard now uh, i'm going to pop my linen dress in the wash my cotton on linen dress not often that i actually have to wash um <laughs> something that's quite fairly new but uh considering a bird decided to leave a little uh, reminder on me today i think it deserves a wash so i've just seen the instructions here and just a warm gentle machine wash will do for that i'll put it in by itself as i noticed the black does attract a bit of lint anywho i hope you enjoyed this vlog lovelies please uh, remember to subscribe to support me in making more videos and growing my channel and um any items that i have featured uh, will be listed in the description box and uh, yes i will see you in my next vlog Take care, enjoy your minestrone if you're making some, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, I couldn't help myself. And for those of you still watching, do you know what I think the secret is to this amazing minestrone? It's the capsicum. And that is a little trick that I learned from an Italian chef on TV. Her name is Sylvia something. Anyway, she's fabulous. Ex opera singer. Watch her show. It's on SBS food uh, occasionally. Anyway, and a little trick that her nonna taught her was to add a bit of capsicum to her sauces and you can even remove it. You don't have to keep it in there and it makes all the difference. And I'm telling you now, I think that is what made this minestrone so, taste so amazing. It's the capsicum. Anyway, ciao for now.